Hi and welcome to the daily motivation and inspiration for today. We're going to check out the motivation, inspiration, and lesson for your next 24 hours. I am a clairaudient. I am very intuitive, so I receive different channeled messages throughout these, uh, these different cards that I do pick up and I do uh, elaborate on those messages. Sometimes they're very just symbolic and sometimes uh, it's to be taken literal. So um, since this is collective and it's for everyone, it's going to resonate differently for different people, okay? Now, um, I do like to mention that this is a timeless. So timeless means that it's meant for whenever you find this, okay? And it's for the next 24 hours, whenever you're finding this video. And uh, so we can go ahead and get started, okay? Let me see here, hold on. I, 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 I gotta grab these right here. Here we go. Got them. <laughs> so, I hope I'm finding you guys in high spirits. I hope you guys are just loving life today. It's too short to be upset. It's so wonderful to embrace every moment today. I was reminded several times of how beautiful life is today. There were just different things, different elements, different people, different views. I'm seeing a turtle. I'm seeing a turtle, and it's a big turtle. And I feel like a um, hundred years. It's like a hundred years. You know how turtles live. Hi. You know how turtles live a very long life. Turtles live a very long life. Kind of makes me feel jealous of the turtle. <laughs> they live so long. And so. Uh, I'm seeing the turtle and the green is sticking out to me. And it's something about the shell that's making me feel like the shell isn't just like a shell. I feel like the shell is almost as hard as concrete, solid as concrete. It's about making the foundation to something very concrete. Hi, Deepak. <laughs> Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, over here in California, it is 6 14. I, um, I know I got it done a little bit later. I got to get you better on my timing, you guys. I know, I know that. I know that. And I appreciate that you guys don't call me out on that. Like, I really do. I know that, that you guys could and you guys don't. So that's, 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 what, that, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. So here in California, it's 6 14. <sighs> it's sunny today. It's a very beautiful day. Very beautiful day. I hope that wherever you guys are, it's a beautiful day for you. Mm -hmm. So the this uh, this turtle, this turtle. I see the concrete, I, but I still see the green on the shell of the turtle. It's only a thought, and a thought can be changed. I am not limited by any past thinking. I choose my thoughts with care. I constantly have new insights and new ways of looking at my world. I am willing to change and grow. Okay, I had seen the turtle in my vision and the turtle had a very hard shell and I could feel like years, like hundreds, like a hundred years, a hundred years. These past thought patterns have been part of your exterior, part of what you show.
And I feel like you're breaking a lot of those barriers down. Or you're willing to. So you can grow. Because I still see the, the, the turtle is, is old. But the green is still there. Which means there's a newness to it. Like a new approach to something. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go to the Motivation Manifesto. I feel like a lot of you I'm seeing I'm seeing like a um a man with like a like art like a like well not like an art thing but like a you know the whiteboards when you know people that have the meetings and stuff and they're writing on the whiteboard I see a man writing on a whiteboard and it's speaking of like coming up with new concepts new ideas new plans it's mapping out because even the design of the turtle is coming out. Like it's 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 a new design. This can be you changing yourself and your your like almost like your DNA or your imprint like that. Like your everything about you, like a new identity of you. New identity. This is something about mapping. But I feel like it's it's tied to the turtle's shell, like a like a like a DNA thing, or a, or yeah, like a like, like identity. I see like a white cloth that somebody's putting out to dry. I feel like it's like leaving stuff to hang, like just let it hang out, um, let it air out, like um leaving something to hang like i'm just gonna hang i'm just letting it hang like i'm just letting it go i feel like it's like um like somebody leaving something hanging like that mm -hmm. without self-mastery we are slaves to fear impulse and conformity with self-mastery joy greatness and transcendence are ours this was ours yesterday this was literally ours yesterday. So I would say this is continuously happening for you in your life. You are continuously changing. You're evolving. This is an e evolution of something, a project or your self-identity. It's an evolution. It's something that you're that you're you're constantly um growing in. <sighs> And I feel like the turtle in my in my in my vision is getting new. It's like the design of the shell is 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 adjusting. It's adjustments to changes, changes in your identity and change or changes in your business. It's adjusting things to fit a new way. I want to do a different card because this is the same card as yesterday. And I, you guys see me shuffle. You guys see me. But I feel like, I feel like doing a second one because I feel like it's the same card. <laughs> and I want a second one. <laughs> so here we go. I'm seeing a mirror. You know the mirrors that are in the bathroom? You know? In the in Mexi in our Mexican culture, <laughs> we say it um, in Spanish. We say a uh, botequín. It's like a botequín. It's uh, the it's the mirror, and you pull the mirror, and you could put you know your your different things inside you know in the bathroom. So this is a botequín. So I'm seeing that. It's not showing me anything else about the bathroom. It's just showing me a, a botequín. And I see a man in front of the Botequín, but I don't see any reflection. There's no reflection in the mirror. I feel like it's uh, it's because the, the reflection isn't going to, it, there's not going to be any reflection in the mirror because you're building a new identity. You see what I'm saying? It's not going to be the same, uh, the same face. As you've seen 
It's not the same outer appearance. It's not the same person. It's a change, a transformation. I feel like being loud. Our greatest personal power is the ability to take over our impulses and direct our minds to choices and commitments that will serve us. This is a commitment to self-mastery to change yourself. Right here. Yeah, a thought. Uh-huh. It's a commitment to changing the, your thoughts, to changing the way you, you, the way you present yourself and what you will and will not put up with in yourself and people around you this is a new power this is a very good personal power it's a beautiful feeling it's beautiful i could feel it i could feel it i feel it like right here like it's um oh, deep gut like you know you know that you know that you know that you're doing this. It's like that. Good morning. <laughs> it's like that. Like I could, I just, I could, I could tap into it and I feel that. That's what I feel. <sighs> it's a beautiful, 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 beautiful feeling. Okay, you guys. Now, let me get the other ones right here. I put everything away last night. So I gotta grab them right here. <laughs> So let me see here. This is the empathic oracle. I'm trying to calm down because I feel like there is so much enthusiasm for you to move forward that I'm excited. Like I'm super excited and I have to calm myself down. Because I'm excited because there's a big transformation in you and you're excited and I could feel that energy it's very contagious <laughs> very good very good there's a shift in you a big shift in you and you see right here I know that they're talking about like uh, like thoughts and stuff, but I feel like that to me feels like um, like I'm baking, okay? It feels like I'm putting cookies or not really cookies, like muffins into an oven. And those two in the middle that are different colors are very symbolic to me. Two peas in a pod. I feel like you're not doing this shift on your own. There's someone else that's helping you. Because there's two on this card. There's two. It feels like maybe someone who's who's helping you make the transformation. Or somebody that you come to like for for guidance on your transformation but I feel like you're not alone in the transformation and I feel like whenever you go back to that source whoever it is that it's you know when I see this I feel like it's about to go into the oven it feels preparation like Whoever it is that, that's helping you in this transformation is preparing you for the transformation. It's like a, a preparation. And a constant like shift in the design in the in the in the turtle that I seen, like the, the shell, it feels like um because this turtle shell is hard, it's almost like concrete. I could feel it. And it's like so effortless for the design of the turtle's shell to to transform like i'm seeing it transform easily even though it's concrete 
Mm -hmm. I feel like this is leaps of change that you're making. Because you're committed to it. Mm -hmm. This is... You know, I'm even seeing this part, man. I'm just like getting so many messages when I see this. Like the, the you see right here, it looks kind of like an eye, right? And so like, I feel like this is what's going, what's being prepared. And this is in your mind, right? It's preparing your mind, preparing your thoughts, getting your thoughts on the same page of where you want your physical body to be, right? And then right here, you have your fears, okay? Red is like your sacral, I mean, is your, uh, it's your, um, it's your root chakra, okay? It's your root chakra. And so in like a negative form, it can be seen as fear, okay? I feel like this is where you're seeing things, but you're transforming your thoughts on what you see it as. So it's like, um, it's like, uh looking at them with compassion for yourself. It's a compassion. Like, oh, oh, well, that's because I wasn't thinking this way. Well, that's because I, di I didn't know better. It's like that, like kind of like, wow. Like, instead of beating yourself up for it, I feel like it's changing your thought patterns to have compassion for yourself instead of self-sabotage. It's like that. My regular impulses need to change and to redirect them would help me immensely. Yes, redirecting your your impulses. It all starts with redirecting your thoughts. You redirect your thoughts. One of the ways that I encourage people to redirect their thoughts when you're having a bad thought, just like right here, like when you the eye is looking at a bad thought basically it's like a fear right whenever you're looking at some kind of bad thought the best way to redirect it is by not focusing on a bad or a good thought anymore you just focus on your breathing you just close your eyes and you focus on deep breathing and i always say do about five deep breaths slow deep breaths so you're hearing, you're trying to hear your breath. You're trying to feel it, feel the, 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 the air, fill your lungs. Like, feel it empty your lungs. Because then scientifically you're getting more oxygen to your brain and you're going to be able to make a sound decision on what you're thinking on what what you're what you're choosing to look at what you're choosing to focus on what you're choosing to, to think about you can make a better decision on your thoughts if you get more oxygen to your brain and more air into your lungs and just don't even focus on the good or the bad. Just focus on your breath, five breaths, and then come back and revisit whatever the situation is. Because usually it's a situation. It's not like we self-sabotage because we don't like ourselves. It's that we self-sabotage because there's something that triggers us to feel a certain way. And so then we can look at the real situation and go, okay, I'm mad about this. Can I control it? No, it's beyond my control. Okay, I can let it. Let me let me think of something else positive. It's about redirecting those thoughts. When you you can you can do that whole process if you just breathe. If you just breathe, and don't focus on the good or bad. Let the good and bad be in your brain. They're gonna be there. They're gonna be there anyways. Just let them. Let them be in there. You focus on your breath, then you have enough oxygen going to your brain for you to make a wise decision. All 
I'm seeing a teenager taking a test and he's like overthinking the test. I think that you're often tested and when you're tested it's actually it's yourself it's yourself because he's holding his head it's like uh, it's all in your head with your tests like you're testing yourself it's like mental tests that you go through like you're kind of like thinking like ah, well um, be a test in patience so for some, it's like a test in patience. For others, it's a test in how, well, for everyone, it's a test in how you think. It's some kind of thought that you're testing. Your, your thoughts test you. Your thoughts test you. Your thoughts test you. <sighs> I'm like, that was difficult. <laughs> you guys put me through a test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like your thoughts test you. <sighs> that was tough. Authenticity. Yes. Just relax and be yourself. Just relax and be yourself. You know what's the worst that can happen when you're being yourself? I'll tell you what the worst that can happen. The worst thing that can happen when you're being yourself is someone else won't like it. That's it. That's it. Does it matter if someone else doesn't like who you genuinely are? No, it doesn't matter. That's their problem and it has nothing to do with you. So don't take on the burden of others' judgments and their criticism because that's not your burden to carry. Be authentic to yourself and authentically think good thoughts. Good thoughts. You want those green thoughts, not the red thoughts, not the red ones that this, I feel like it's like an eye that's looking at these. Don't do that, you wanna do this. Because it's not about what you see. You're going to see positive and negative things. We have to have positive and negative. I was just, we were just talking about this earlier today. <laughs> and um, you're, you're going to see these negatives. But you don't have to think negative. Just because something outside is negative doesn't mean you have to be negative inside. There's no rules. No rules to that. You don't have to be, you don't have to be mad. You can choose at any time to be happy. And if somebody don't like it, that's their problem, not yours. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for joining me for our daily motivation, inspiration, and lesson. So today, the next 24 hours, is all about being your authentic self to yourself regardless of what other people may say about you okay if you see things negative outside you don't have to have that reflect what you feel on the inside you can feel any way you choose that's your choice to think what you want to think that's your choice okay thank you guys and have a fantastic 24 i hope to see you guys again tomorrow at 6 p.m pacific standard time 6 p.m ish i've been like you know, give or take 10 or 15 minutes off, okay? So go ahead and uh, tune in tomorrow. And I'm trying to get it better, get better at, at, the, at the timing. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.